What is a semiconductor? I'm Phil Curry, editor of AutoVista 24, here with the latest entry in our Automotive What Is series. The automotive industry has been talking about semiconductors for the last 18 months, but to understand why, we first need to know what a semiconductor is, as well as the chips that they are an integral part of. A semiconductor is a substance that has specific electrical properties. It is usually a solid chemical element or compound that conducts electricity under certain situations, but not others, making it ideal to control current and therefore electronic appliances. A substance that can conduct electricity is called a conductor, while one that cannot is called an insulator. Semiconductors have properties that sit between these mediums. A good example of a semiconductor material is silicon, with controlled impurities. This is called doped silicon, and depending on what you add, you can increase or remove electrons, giving different conductive effects. Semiconductors are important in creating integrated circuits, or chips, or microchips. Many people will interchange the terms, but the semiconductor is the material and the chip is the electronic part that controls systems and appliances. Integrated circuits are built out of a number of microscopic circuits, transistors, diodes and wiring fabricated on top of a semiconductor. And these handle the processing tasks of most electrical components. These chips can replace many larger circuits with the semiconductor acting to regulate energy flow. This means the chips can be made smaller but much more powerful. So, what are these semiconductor chips doing in a car? Quite a lot. From the powertrain to electronic systems such as alternators and lighting, safety, comfort controls, handling systems, infotainment and security options, the modern vehicle is full of integrated circuits, each working to control processes while in use. In fact, there can be up to 4,000 chips in a vehicle. This depends on the optional extras, the vehicle size and the market. Premium models, for example, will feature more technology and therefore more chips than a budget vehicle. The problem is there are currently not enough chips for everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic led to many people staying at home and demand for consumer goods increased as a result. At the same time, the automotive industry, believing demand for vehicles would drop during this period, reduced the number of chips that it ordered. The result is an imbalance between demand and supply. Fabricating semiconductor chips is not an easy process. It can take more than three months just to build one chip and requires giant factories, dust-free rooms, and millions of euros of investment. Building chip facilities can also take years. Therefore, increasing the supply of semiconductor chips to meet increased demand is not something that can be done overnight. Instead, the automotive industry needs to consider other ways to combat the chip shortage, including prioritizing certain models and options, or standardizing platforms to reduce the number of computers within a vehicle. If you have any other automotive terms you would like explained, Please get in contact with us. You can find our details at autovista24.com. And while there, why not sign up for our free daily email that brings you the latest automotive news and industry insight direct to your email inbox. Don't forget also to like and subscribe to our AutoVista24 YouTube channel where you can find the rest of our What Is series together with other videos based around the automotive industry. Thanks for watching.